Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. One of the most often cited so-called proofs that we live on a spherical Earth is to see ships apparently disappearing from the bottom up when they go off into the distance. When they reach the horizon, we are told that they are then going down a curve. And we are told that uh, our height above the surface makes a difference to how far we can see along or down that curve. So with this uh, very simple setup behind me, with some Tabasco sauce this time, HP Source is no longer a sponsor of this channel. Uh, we're going for something slightly hotter. Uh, it is very hot today, actually very humid uh, in this rainy season here in Phuket. Uh, anyway, uh, what we're going to do is just make an observation with this little setup here that anyone can then go and use to compare uh, in a real life situation by looking across the surface of water and see uh, what we actually see and then confirm for themselves whether we are seeing uh, ships disappear down a curve or whether it's due to uh, other things, other factors such as perspective and the conditions and of course uh, the way light is uh, reflected into our eyes and um, also the nature of the rugged surface that we always see when we look across um, the water. Of course this, these are very smooth surfaces that we are using uh, but we have to keep in mind that uh, no surface in nature is ever completely smooth. So, of course, on tabletops and things like that, we're not going to see uh, the bottom of something disappearing because we don't have those natural elements affecting the observation. So let's have a quick look at the setup. It's very, very simple. Um, I've just got a flat piece of wood here that I've made pretty much level measurements and things don't really don't make a difference this is just a demonstration and here we've got a, a curved piece of skirting board and of course I've had to stick this on here because gravity won't hold this down um, on a slope that's just a, an, an observation and a thought experiment that, that anyone can do we know that for example if there was water on here it would naturally flow down a curve so I mean you can actually think for yourself that if we're told there's a curve at the horizon um, but water doesn't flow down that curve then that is simply a wrong assumption that goes against natural physics you have to make up some mathematical model to imagine that there's uh, some way that something can uh, stick to a curve and water doesn't flow down it but anyway this is about making that observation so, uh, let's just imagine that we are close to the surface and we, these source bottles are ships going off into the distance. If I just zoom in, of course, what we can see here is um, on the left, on this flat surface, and remember the bottle isn't quite at the end of the surface, it's about two thirds of the way along, but um, it appears to be sitting on the horizon. Of course, if this surface was rugged and it had waves and there was sunlight acting on it and, and, and there, were, there were atmospheric conditions in between us, then this would make a difference to the visibility. And on the right here, we have that curved surface. And of course, uh, what we do see is um, a bottle that has got a lot lower and more than half of it has been cut off. Uh, it's debatable whether we can tell from this position whether that bottle is on the right is angling away from us. Of course, if we go back to this position, we can see that there is quite a significant angle to that bottle. Uh, okay, so, uh, but this is the main thing I wanted to point out in this video, is that on the left, on this flat surface, uh, at this low elevation above the surface, we see the bottle sitting on the horizon. But uh, of course, the eye, what we're told about the observations we make for, uh, or the interpretation of this kind of setup or scenario, 
on a globe is that the higher we go, um, the, the more we have to look down to see something going beyond a curve. So but what, what we can see here is that as we rise up, um, the horizon or the surface beyond the red bottle on the flat surface now extends beyond the bottle. And the curved surface doesn't. It's gone down. We don't see beyond, we don't see any of the surface beyond the green bottle on the curved surface. So all you have to do is take this observation and go and make an observation across a real surface of water. It could be a lake, it could be the sea, and then make an observation from a low elevation, like this, where the bottle on the left appears to be sitting on the horizon, and then go to a higher elevation. You could use a drone to do this if you wanted, keeping the camera level we see that on the left, the flat surface, it appears to extend now beyond the bottle, yeah? Down low, the bottle appears to be sitting on the horizon, but we know that the surface extends beyond it. We, we gain height above the surface and keep the camera level, and we can see that surface, the flat surface, extend beyond the red bottle. But with the green bottle on the curved surface, we cannot see that curved surface. Even if we angle down, we still cannot see that curved surface. It just, it just ends there and cuts off. Okay, so obviously in the real world, just rising up a, a couple of inches like this uh, could be the equivalent to um, several meters up into the air. And the higher we go, the longer we see the surface. And of course, this flat surface is very short. If it was long, it would just extend into the distance. And if it was infinitely long, then it would still rise to eye level. So yes, we do have these arguments about horizon drop. But uh, if you think about what we mentioned earlier on with all the other factors taken into consideration, um, the, the limit to what we can see uh, due to conditions and other factors or variables, uh, then you know you can draw your own conclusions. But basically, um, if you go and look in the real world, what you will see when you look across a, the surface of the water is that surface uh, extending beyond uh, the object that was only on the horizon when we're at a low elevation like this. Okay, really, 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 really simple. All right, so the next time you're near a beach or a lake or you have the chance to make an observation near the surface and make another observation uh, from higher up, this is all you have to do. And if you gain height and see that, just like we see on the left-hand side with the red source bottle and the surface extending beyond that bottle when you gain height, you know it's a flat surface while keeping the camera level. If you don't see the surface extending beyond the bottle or the proverbial ship, then that would mean it is curved. All right? Really, really simple stuff. There you go. I mean, that, that, that ship appears to be on the horizon, but that could go further and further and further away and it would remain on the horizon. And it'd probably get to a point where it would just get very fuzzy and we wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah? Because it's flat. Yeah? Look at that. And just another uh, something to consider is that, of course, we could find a way to get some kind of drone or aircraft or whatever and, and fly straight. 
and make this comparison with a side on view. And then we would see that uh, there is this significant difference in something that's gone down a curve. We can see that curve. We can see that the bottle is now angled. Okay. And you will never be able to make this observation in real life. Okay. This is simply uh, a scaled down demonstration of what we can look for. And I encourage people not to just take my word for it, but to go out and make their own observations. And you'll see for yourself that the idea that ships disappear down a curve when we see them going off into the distance is as ridiculous as it sounds. What we see in reality is a horizon that then, or a surface that then extends beyond the ship that was on the horizon when we were at a low level. All right, hope that helps. Thank you very much.